I loved You Won't Be Alone. And I thought it was a beautiful mix of mythology and horror elements. I was wondering if you could talk about combining Old Maid Maria's terrifying presence with her very human origin. Um, not often you have the opportunity to, to have a before and an after. And um, I was very happy to, to be able to show um, the why and the how, you know, mm -hmm. she became a, a witch. I mean, Maria became a witch. Mm -hmm. um, it was, uh, it's always exciting, you know, to have such, su such different parts to play. Um, the, 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 co the, the connection between the two um, is, is important and um, the relationship with the community and with motherhood um, with loneliness, you know, the shadow that she, the, 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 the darkness that, that um, inhabit her, uh, you understand them all uh, when you, you get to see what happened in the past. Absolutely. And that ties into the connection between Maria and Navina, which is kind of at the central relationship in the film. Uh, can you talk about maybe how she perceives her protege, this creature that she's, she's molding, but at the same time is getting away from her? I think she um, wants to understand what it means to, to be a mother. Only probably she, um, she long lost the um, capacity uh, or the, the know-how um she she doesn't even know how to love anymore that's i think that 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 comes from from loneliness from uh being from rejection from 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 uh, uh being completely cut off from for from any human touch um and um, obviously the very important part of it has uh, this village with it with, 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 which in our film is the world Mm. and uh, what uh, this isolation can do to someone. So as, as much as she, she wants to be like everybody else, um, the, the, that bridge has burned, I think. Mm. Yeah, there's some pretty gruesome body horror in the film or just even makeup <laughs> that helps drive the point home. What was it like for you to be a part of that, to put that on and <laughs> to make those scenes happen? I didn't do much. I was just sitting in a chair for hours on end. <laughs> I loved it. By the end, I think I loved the smell of the glue as well. Maybe it made me high. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I got, you get used to anything, basically. Mm -hmm. That's what I learned. Um, that I'm saying just to make you know our our um, public <laughs> laugh. Uh, but uh, uh, I I was very very uh, lucky to have mm -hmm. amazing make artist and this this vision that I was introduced to um, from the the very early stages because I was sent a picture with the way she would look this this image mm -hmm. superimposed on my own face you know so I could I could read and and think about the part um, <sighs> with that uh, in my mind uh, but the truth is that you you know when, when after a few hours passed you and and you start being in front of a camera you forget that right. you had this and uh, i was reminded either by the kids um, uh, who were in the village and me being in the car not being able to cover me because sometimes i was I, I would be deep in thought or uh and the, the look on their faces when they would see me because i don't think they <laughs> they were at the, that beautiful age when they didn't draw the line they hadn't draw the line yet uh, drawn the line between <laughs> reality and fact Right. And, um, I, yeah. I hope it was magic. It was. It was. It was amazing on screen. So hopefully it was worth it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a great day. Okay.